Hello and welcome to my channel. I actually have no idea how to start this intro, but um, it's prom today. I go get my hair done and I also got a trim because I had a lot of split ends, so I just put it all together. I pick up my corsage and Evan's boutonniere and then I do my makeup. I feel like I said boutonniere wrong. And I bring you guys along with me in my Get Ready With Me prom 2017. So if you'd like to see how I got this whole complete look, Please continue watching. If this is your first video of mine, hi, my name is Shauna. You should definitely go hit that subscribe button down below. I'm sure you know where it is. I know where it is. We all know where it is. Might as well hit it, you know, see what happens. And you'll see new videos every single week. This is my very first makeup video and I really hope you enjoy. So before I get into my makeup, I just want to show you guys what I did to like prep my face before a whole night of makeup. This morning when I woke up, I used this Oregon's Drink Up 10 Minute Mask. I actually recently just got this for my birthday from Patricia, so shout out to Patricia. Because I have really oily but also really dry skin. So this really helped and my skin has felt hydrated throughout the whole day. First step, I'm going to spray my face with my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. Are you even a YouTuber if you don't use this? By the way, this is my sister's room. It's not my room because my room is under renovation. I'm going to prime my face with the CoverGirl True Blend Face Primer for Combo Skin. For foundation, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation in the shade 230 and I'm going to be applying it with my damp beauty blender. Next I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25. Blemishes over here so I'm just going to cover that. Bring my T-zone a little under my eyes. I don't really get dark circles. Now I'll go back in with my beauty blender. Pretty good coverage, if you ask me. Now I'm gonna set my concealer with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in the shade 230. As you can tell, I really like Maybelline. I kind of get oily everywhere, so I kind of put powder all over my face. I'm just gonna let my face dry, and while I do that, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. So for my eyebrows, I use my Anastasia Brow Powder and my Anastasia Brush, and I just fill them in. So what I do basically, I just outline my brow, and I just fill it in. It's not that interesting to be honest. one brow I go back and forth why I don't know yeah now that they're filled I'm gonna set them with guess what product Maybelline probably my favorite drugstore brand so I mean that's what you're gonna get brow drama sculpting brow mascara and transparent I'm extremely nervous for eyes because I just got this for my birthday from my sister so shout out to Asia for my transition shade I'm gonna use raw sienna that's how you say it if not, uh -uh. ooh, okay. Every time I dip the brush in, even if it's two seconds after I remind myself, I forget how pigmented they are. 
And then I'm gonna use burnt orange to go on my crease and a bit on my eye in this section. Next I'm gonna go with venti and red. I don't know what that thing is called. Okay, I want more like depth here, so I think I'm gonna go in with red ochre and put that right like up here to give my eyes some more depth. And I'm probably gonna also use antique bronze to make it even darker. And I think with love letter, I'm gonna go in a bit and make it flick out. I think I'm gonna go in with some more burnt orange on the top. This is literally the second time I've used this palette. I'm, and I'll go over it with Vermeer. Ooh, that was a lot. Okay, tap, tap. I'm just packing this towards the middle of my eyelid, not going any higher than my natural crease. With Tempera right here, I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. I'm gonna start with raw sienna right under my eye. And then I'm gonna use red ochre. I'm gonna use tempera to highlight my brow bone. I found a liquid liner yesterday by CoverGirl, but I'm really scared I'm gonna mess up. It's like a marker. I thought it would be like one of those things you dip, but it's not. Okay, I actually think that's pretty good considering it's me doing it. Do the cheeks. I was using it earlier as a mirror. I'm gonna use my cheek grade palette. Love Hula Bronzer. Favorite thing ever. This strap has been down my head. I didn't realize. Oh well. So I'm gonna get some Hula Bronzer. I go in with the Hula Light and I go under it a bit just to clean it up. And for blush, I'm gonna use California and Dandelion because I wanna look cute and rosy. Oh, I forgot a contour on my nose. This little guy here, grab a little bit of Hula Bronzer. I pulled up my cheeks. so weird. The highlight I'm using, you already know what brand it is. It's by Maybelline. It's actually your whole master contour kit, but I wasn't really a fan of the blush and the contour, but I really, really liked the highlight. So I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. Guess what? This isn't Maybelline. It's L'Oreal Miss Manga. proper order to do your makeup and I just do it in the completely wrong order but it's okay. So after I apply the Miss Manga I go in with my CoverGirl Clump Crusher and I just crush those clumps. And I'm gonna go over a little bit more Miss Manga one more time. And I think that's all. I feel like I'm forgetting. Oh lips! That's what I'm forgetting. The NYX Lingerie in the shade 04 Rimmel's Lasting Finish Lip Contouring Pencil in the shade 007 Rose Quartz. I love this liquid lipstick so much. It feels a bit sticky when you first put it on, but once it dries, it honestly feels fine. You can lick your lips and it won't come off. The lighting's way better here, and honestly, the reason I did do my makeup in front of this awesome good lighting is because I liked the backdrop. But this is the complete look. Yeah, I'm gonna go put my dress on now and maybe there'll be a cute montage. Yeah.